And why do I like Tau? Well, Tau has a lot of the great qualities that Bitcoin created. 21 million is the most tokens that will be created. And let me do a little screen share here because I just want to get into basically what it goes over in detail here. All right. So 21 million is the most tokens that will be created right now with there is 10, 10 million, 09 million actually out there in liquidity. So there's still another roughly just under 11 million that are yet to be mined. And it is mined like Bitcoin is similarly, different machines, different way to do it. And I'm not going to get ed, into that in this video because there's still a lot more I've learned on that side there. But what is BitTensor? It is a decentralized AI. And what I did is I created a little beginner's guide here for what is BitTensor and explained simply. So imagine thousands of people around the world who could pull the, their computers together to create AI and everyone who helps gets paid. That's what BitTensor is. Think of it as Airbnb for AI, just like Airbnb lets everyone rent out their space or their room. BitTensor lets anyone contribute compute power and build AI and get paid for it. Now there's another crypto that does very similar things here. That's Theta and Theta has some of the same capabilities and they're doing it on the web a little differently here because this is going to be an exchange more or less for AI and it's going to allow for a lot of different things. And I think this, if this idea catches on, BitTensor is going to be huge and the price is going to explode. It's right now around 440 bucks. It's had a nice run up because it was three and the lower threes and then dropped down to 160 when that flash crash happened and then went right back up there and it skyrocketed for a couple of days, it was up like 37% one day, 27% another day. So it's really moving pretty well. And I can see it getting into the thousands, maybe to the five or six or $7,000 even range this cycle, just because of simply because the lack of tokens out there where you have so many of these other projects that have a billion tokens or many millions, but usually in the billions, this one has 21 million, just like Bitcoin. They wanted to create it that way to make it and model it after Bitcoin, which I have huge respect for with what they're compute, what they're building here. It could really change things. And this could be one of the great tokens out there. So I'm very bullish on it. I'm actually going to be converting my Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin that I have into Tau. And hopefully this is a great long-term play for me here, but I'm going to try to play it for this bull market that we get here and hopefully everything goes well. But if it's something you're interested in, you can do some research. There is, you can go on YouTube. They have the YouTube channel is youtube.com forward slash at open tensor. All right. So it talks about the use of artificial intelligence and be able to bring a bunch of people together here to add compute power. And what they want to do is create decentralization, not centralization. Whereas you see here with open AI and Google, they're very centralized. They can control what you put on there. They can take you off very easily. Think about it as like a government, right? A government will have control over things and it's not we, the people anymore. What the decentralization is supposed to be about, we, the people and individuals here can profit as opposed to just a few of the people that are friends with the people at Google and open AI. So that this is a real nice opportunity, I think for people, let's see, anybody can contribute. Anyone can use the AI. Everyone shares profits. No single company controls it. Decentralization, which is great. This Tau is the token, which is just a coin, right? That is their token currency. There's subnets and the subnets are what you would mine. And it's not like you can go get your own miner. So you're mining on the subnets, I believe that are already created. So there's one subnet that creates AI, another provides data storage, another handles computing power and so on here. How do the contributors get paid? If you help the networking, again, this is the mining aspect here by running AI models, providing storage, et cetera, you can earn TAL tokens automatically. Something I'm going to look into, I'll do a deeper dive into it once I find out some more. And that'll be for another video. Users pay to use it. People who want to run AI or services pay in TAL tokens. So you're not paying in cash, you're actually paying in the tokens to utilize it. The big innovation, Bitcoin makes everyone complete to or makes everyone complete to solve math problems. Okay. Just to secure the network. So you're doing math to secure the network here. That's with Bitcoin and a bit tensor makes everyone 
complete, complete and create actual useful things such as AI storage, computation power, while still keeping everything decentralized. So again, not one central hub, a whole bunch of people's information, a whole bunch of people's storage. Why should you care? You could access powerful AI without relying on big tech companies. You can, which is huge, right? Cause you don't want to, a lot of these AI companies, they have put woke in there, right? We definitely have that with chat GPT. If you try to ask it certain things, it won't give you that information. This is decentralized, more like Venice AI, which will give you the non-woke stuff as well. But this is going to be huge computational power in here, probably much larger than what Venice could provide. You can earn money by contributing your computer resources. Theta does a very similar thing. You could do that on a Theta Edge node. You get to say how AI develops. You get a say in it. If you're a developer, you can build AI apps on it without needing millions of dollars. You can tap into global network of computing power and you get paid for your contributions. That's if you're a developer. For the people, it prevents AI from being controlled by a few mega corporations, which we all love. I think this is a great concept. Distributes AI benefits everyone, makes AI development more transparent and democratic. Bottom line, the core concept that Tensor is trying to do for AI what Bitcoin did for money. Take out the centralized control and put it in the hands of regular people. So if you want to compare apples to apples here, we'll look at Bitcoin and why Bitcoin is, is so universally loved. <clears throat> Again, 21 million. So you have a finite amount, which adds value. There is intrinsic value there because there's only a certain amount that will be available out there. And again, BitTensor does the same thing. You have decentralization. So there is no third party intermediary. Say a Google would be a third party intermediary. They're not even an intermediary. They control it. They're completely centralized. So with this, you're able to get in all kinds of information out there. They see the World Wide Web with AI combined without any kind of guardrails. There's no guardrail protections on there. So it's going to be more like the wild west of AI, far better. You're going to probably be able to get a lot better information. You're going to get probably potentially more accurate information, which I really do. All right. Key takeaways. No single company controls it, which is what we love. Fair compensation. Contributors get paid in TAL tokens, open access. Anyone can participate and benefit. Multiple services, AI storage. Computing all in the ecosystem, democratic control, the community decides the future direction. So gives you power, just kind of if you're a miner of coin, you have some say potentially in, in how Bitcoin goes. There's people that were mining before and they wanted to create it as Bitcoin to be more transactional and they forked off and became Bitcoin cash. Litecoin technically was a fork of Bitcoin, as was Dogecoin and others. But this has huge potential. I'm very bullish on BitSensor here on Tau. So this is something, like I said, I'm going to be consolidating some other tokens because we're getting towards alt season right now. And I'm trying to go for bigger upside potential. And I think Tau has bigger upside potential than Bitcoin Cash, than Litecoin. And I've been in Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin since 2017. So I've held them for an extremely long period of time. And now I'm going to probably be swapping them out for TAL and a pretty substantial amount. So I already do, I already own 36 TAL tokens. So I'm looking to add quite a bit more here. And if this goes into the thousands this cycle, it'll end up being a pretty good play for me. And we'll see where it goes here. I'm still mostly Bitcoin, that's almost 50% of my portfolio. But as Bitcoin starts to get to its next all-time high, which I think in the 130 to 150 range is where I may sell Bitcoin and then wait for the retracement and hope in a bear market it retraces in the 70s or 80s, somewhere in that range, maybe 60s, 50s, who knows, and buy back in and hopefully get more Bitcoin. But in the meantime, I'll put some cash on the sideline and be in a better position to do that. Long-term cryptos that I do, unfortunately, Ethereum, which I'm not a huge Ethereum fan, it has long-term play because of how much is built onto it already. So that's good long-term play. The ones that you're going to want to have long-term play in would be Bitcoin, would be Ethereum. And I'm thinking Tal may be one of the ones that will be a really good long-term play too. There's going to be lots of others as well. You have ASI, Artificial Super Intelligence Alliance. That one could be very good play. Render, which is another great AI play. Theta is a pretty good AI play. I don't know what their long-term goals are. I thought it would have developed and gotten better since that last 2021 cycle, but it, for some reason it has not. But 
still looking to see hopefully how much more development we can get with Theta. And if Theta is going to be a competitor with Tal, doesn't look like it's going to be a major competitor in the fact that you're not going to look at Theta going up to the number that Tal is going to go up to because there's billions of Theta val available where there is only 21 million Tal. So I did want to do a deep dive here, but give you the basics on what it does. Again, it's decentralized like Bitcoin, 21 million like Bitcoin. And I think it has a really bright future like Bitcoin. Hopefully you guys like it. If so, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. I want to catch you on the next video.